Okay, so um, this is how to install ESXi uh, VMware. You have to download the ISO from um, VMware's website. It's a free download, and just pop it in and boot from CD on your server or your um, your machine or your virtual machine. Um, this bit's pretty simple. Just enter and boot from the, for the first two menus. Uh, it's going to scan what hard drive you can pop it onto. Um, you only need a small one. Two gig will be plenty. Uh, hit enter to continue. Um, make sure you don't put it onto your your discs if you have them there. Um, just set your keyboard layout, simple stuff, use the arrows on your keyboard to um, do one. Um, then you need to enter your root password, it's imperative you don't forget this one, so you've got to type it in twice and don't forget it. Um, and then just hit F11 to install. Um, it's going to install the program now. Um, so root password is the one you're going to need, you're going to be logging in using root as your username, and password is the one you just selected. So once it's booted back up, you need to look at your IP address there. Mine is 192.168.126.129. Um, and then you need you need to make sure it's on the network. If not, you can press F2 um, and configure an IP address by following the settings on the menu. Um, mine got it from DHCP, so I'm going to log on my Windows 8 machine, check that I'm on the same subnet by running an IP config, and I can see that I am. Um, and then I'm going to open up the Internet Explorer and just go to that URL. Um, it's going to say the problem is certificate but just press continue to this one um, and then you're going to need to download the vSphere client um, so just click on that and it will download um, I've done mine in the background, it's about 326 meg I believe um, so once it's downloaded just run, it's a next next install so you can't go wrong with that I'm not going to take you through that because it's very very simple um, but you can find the link from it by typing the IP address of your um, ESXi server that you've just installed um, if it's on the network so um, we're back in now with it installed, so I'm just going to go to the desktop and open it up. You're going to need to then have three boxes. First of all, put the IP address of your uh, ESXi server that you just installed in the top, root in the username, um, and then your password that you uh, entered when you are installing ESXi. Um, you'll have a security warning, just ignore it. You can tick the box to always ignore, um, and then you'll have it installed. Um, so here's your summary, um, and then we're going to look at some other pages on how you can go about... Uh, adding data stores and adding VMs and backing it up with um, some backup software. Thanks for watching, and um, if you want to watch some more, please subscribe.